Somebody make a sound of victory in this place. God bless you. Hey, 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 how y'all doing out there? God bless you. Come on, come on, come on. This is going to be the best days of your life. Yeah, 2021 is going to have its struggles. But because you have hid yourself in God, some of the best days of your life are ahead. Come on now. I'm going to give a couple people time to get in here. I'm going to give y'all a five minute nugget. We're going to go up. We're going to pray and we're going to celebrate God. All right? Amen. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Amen. I'm not going to prolong the time because I want to share something with you tonight. That's going to lead you into 2021. If you're excited about it, let me see some hearts, some thumbs, some likes, all that good stuff. I want you to flood the screen. If you're ready for 2021, I need you to pound that like. I need you to pound that heart button. Last thing but not least, I need you to hit that share button. Why? We don't want people, we don't want to be greedy and take everything for ourselves. We want to give it out. All right. Hit that share button. Hit those likes, hit those hearts. I want to give you something tonight that's going to help you and your family uh, go into the year 2021. Uh, if you can, real quickly, get your Bible. Any reading device that you want to use, go ahead and grab that. And go with me to John 2021. <laughs> I need you to go with me to the book of John, chapter 20, verses 21. So we're going John 2021. All right. For the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and start reading. Then said Jesus to them again. Listen, peace be unto you. As my father have sent me, even so I send you. Lady A and I lunch COP January 21st, 2020. Not knowing anything but what God placed in our hearts to do. We had no idea that two months later, COVID would come and require us to close the doors. It forced us to have drive-in pull-up services. The blessedness behind it was we had no idea that we would literally grow to a point where we could not come back in the building as a whole. We were blessed in the midst of the pandemic to feed essential workers, to bless families, to serve our community. Even people in the midst of the congregation were getting promotions, launching businesses, and God was still granting miracles left and right. We had no idea what God was going to do in 2020. I want to speak to you real briefly from a subject behind closed doors. Adrena and I had no idea that what God told us behind closed doors would manifest in the measures it did this year. So this is the question. Now what? In 2021, it's time for our church to take motion. Pastor Fred, what you mean? The word motion, by definition, is a natural event that involves a change in position or location of something. 
So when motion happens, it's natural. It involves something changing its position or location. Notice, it's natural for it to happen. Anything that doesn't change is not normal. Anything that does not shift position is not normal. Anything that stays in the same location is not normal. Although I thank God for everything that he has done, it's only natural for our position to change. Watch this now. And our location. I need y'all to catch that because in 2021, it will be unnatural if God will make us stay in the same location. It will be unnatural if our church continues to hold the same position. Because if motion holds true, it's natural for a thing to change position and watch this, change location. So if God is the God of motion, it's only natural now that our location got to change. Watch this. Our positions in him has to change. Why? Because it's natural. I'm coming, y'all. Y'all just give me a second. I'm trying to set this thing up. I'm almost done, believe it or not. So now we roll up on the heels of John 20, 21. Jesus had been crucified and had risen from the grave. Watch this. And he has appeared unto his disciples behind closed doors. And this is what he told them. Then said Jesus to them again. Notice the word again. I want to remind you. I need you to grab this. Peace be unto you. I had to start searching out the word peace because the word peace has different connotations as it's presented in text. So peace over here may not mean the same thing over here. All right. What does peace mean as it pertains to this scripture? It literally means there is safety. It also means reconciliation. Hold it. It doesn't stop there. It means to reconcile by bringing oneness or harmony between two parties. And when harmony is there, it produces a safety. One scripture says, in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. But safety in the Hebrew literally means victory. I need y'all to catch this now because Jesus is saying, I need y'all to catch this. I need y'all to catch this. Often to give y'all the victory. Why? Because I reconciled myself back to the Father. And because I've done that, I'm finna send you somewhere. Because it's not natural for you to not have motion. I need y'all to catch this now. So, this is what he's saying. I want to assure you, because I have reconciled back to my Father, in other words, I have fulfilled my assignment and my purpose physically in this earth. That's a blessing for us because now you and I can finally be in harmony with Jesus. What do you mean? He released the spirit of God. Now he has went back to the father, but yet the spirit of God resides in me. And because I am in him and he is in me, now we are one. And get this, I got to do the same cycle that he did. Because I cannot see Jesus, watch this, without doing that that he put on the inside of me. I got to kick it in motion. He's given me what I need behind closed doors. Here go you a purpose nugget to jump 2021 off. When you are in harmony... He'll eliminate your hindrances. I need you to catch that. Make it personal. When I am in harmony, he will eliminate all my hindrances. So just as the father sent him, now he's about to send me. Watch this. He's about to send you. Clap your hands for this. He's about to send 
the church of purpose. Why are you saying this? Isaiah 55 and 11 reads like this in the Amplified Version. So will my word be which goes out of my mouth. It will not return to me void. In other words, useless, without results, without accomplishing what I desire, and without succeeding in the matter for which I sin. Tonight, God is sending you a word behind closed doors. You thought 2020 was going to take you out. The financial woes, the sicknesses, the family woes, the economic woes, the civil woes. And for some of you, it got so heavy, you had spiritual woes. In other words, you really thought you were about to give up. But the Lord sent me here tonight to give you a word behind closed doors. That in 2021, just as the Father sent him and he completed his assignment, I want to tell you in 2021, God is going to lunch you that you can do your assignment. Because I come to let you know God is sending a peace to undergird you in 2021. 2020 forced you to become one with God. So now it's time for God to put his plan in motion through you. So as the father sent him, the son is about to send us. In 2021, you got to start declaring, I'm finna refocus, I'm finna reset, and I'm about to relaunch. Why? Because I have the peace of God. I want to say to you right now, Happy New Year. Because God has just given you the blueprint behind closed doors. Refocus, reset, and relaunch. Why? Because God is about to put some stuff in motion. All because there is now harmony in the body. Let us pray. Father, we thank you right now for bringing us through 2020. All the turmoils, all the woes, all the things that made us even consider giving it up. We thank you, God, that you brought us this far. And Father, we believe and we declare that this starts the best season of our life. We thank you, God, even for COVID. We thank you for every woe, every sickness, every family woe, every economic woe, every civil woe, every spiritual woe. Father, we thank you right now for it. Why? Because it brought us into harmony with you. It brought us into oneness with you, God. And now we thank you for the safety that we feel. We thank you for the victory that you're about to release unto us. Why? Because I believe, God, and I thank you that you're not going to allow us not to flow in motion. So I thank you, God, for setting us in motion in 2021. Can I tell you, Lord, we're so thankful. We love you and we bless you for the best days of our life that are ahead. Church of Purpose, I love you. Happy New Year. Let's get riding. Happy New Year. This go ahead and confess it. This is going to be the best season of your life. Come on, come on. It's 2020 now, y'all. We made it. Hey, we made it. Look at that. I'm not just saved. I'm purposed. I'm not just put here to get saved. I got something to do. And this year, he's going to put it in motion. Go ahead. Say, Lord, put me on the wheel. Put me in motion, God. We're going to go from where COB. We're going all the way up. Listen. While we jamming out, I'm going to share a flower with you. It's time to get ready to celebrate. On January 21st, COP is going to have a birthday party. We one year old. January 21st, 2021. I need you to pay attention to this flyer. Set your calendars. If you can join us, I need you to come. All COP members, I need you to be there. We're going to rent a facility. We're going to celebrate.
the Lord style. I got a surprise for y'all. I got a preacher that can preach, will preach, and gon' preach. And I believe that's going to be a prophetic word that's going to shift the whole motion of this ministry. May God bless y'all. I love you. It's 2021. Again, let's go all the way up.